Roman signs verse 4. Because not everybody, man, is of the seed of the chosen generation. They may come from Abraham, like Ishmael. Ishmael was the son of Abraham, right? But Ishmael was from the bond woman, right? So Ishmael come from Abraham, but he's not chosen. He's not coming with us, right? He's going in the field to do our work. Because that's where he belongs, right? And from in the days, from in uh, Genesis, man, Ishmael was the one that sold our brother Joseph unto unto the, 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 the Hamites, right? The Egyptians, man. But that was the work of the Heavenly Father. Anyway, we got the scripture. Romans 9 and 4. You are Israelites to whom the name and glory and the honor and the giving of so the Lord. So the scripture said, who are Israelites? Who was given the glory and the adoption and the covenant unto the Lord? Since only the Israelites did get the glory, did get the adoption, did get the covenant and the last. Everyone never get it, man. It's only the Israelites get the law, statue and commandment from Yahweh. So everyone is not the same people, right? You have people who have the flesh and you have people who have the spirit. We are the children of the spirit. That's why we do in the world and look foolish unto man. Because they are of the flesh, right? They're not of the spirit. So this is contrary to their ways, right? So we hold here, man, to try to show our people everybody is not the same people, man. We are different. You have some of the flesh and you have some of the spirit. We have the people of the spirit. And you're not supposed to mingle with the people of the flesh. So they clear your mind and make you do things contrary unto the heavenly father. Right? Read our you have, man. And the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh. And the giving of the law and the servant of Yahweh, man. Right? Read that. And the promises. And the promises, man. So we was the children that get the promise. Everybody never get the promise, man. Because if they did get the promise, they would have gone through the same atrocity that we did been going through from the hurt begin, man. We've been going through adversity after adversity, man. Right? So we was the children that gave him the law, the promise, and the statue to do the Heavenly Father work in truth and sincerity. We was not the people who come here of the flesh. We come here of the spirit. That's why we are talking and proclaiming these words because these words are spirit and they are life, man. Right? That's it, Anna. Chinaman, he did not come here for the Ishmaelite, he come here for the so-called black, right? Native, Native American, right? These are the people that make up the 12 tribe of Israel, right? And as soon as the people them find out this is the better for you, because this may be save your life, right? The law gave us the law gave us law, the statue and command. Forever, am 
man, our man, man. Now let me get get me first Corinthians chapter two. And we start at twelve. Now we need to bring out some things, man, because a lot of people don't know this Bible is not for everyone, man. This Bible is for is of our history night, man. This is our constitution, man. This is our way of life. Right? So the Lord gave us last statue and commandment. This is our history book, man. The Christian Church hijacked our Bible. We never knew how to do it. Each and all people are hunting, man. Each and their nationality. And each and every day they are the culture. They tell them that they are the Gentiles. When clearly, we are not the Gentiles, man. We are the true biblical Israelites of the scripture. Right? We do have. generation but it's been beaten out of us in the time of the transatlantic slavery man that's why we are talking English right but our brother King James what he did he translated the scripture man from Hebrew right to English so we can read and find our way back home and to the Heavenly Father before time we couldn't read man master beat to man hungry man and kill you man but no, it's a different time. This is the last days, right? And the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on us to come out here to show His dark people to come back up to His way, man. Because this is no duty. This is not the duty of all nations, man. This is only the duty of the Israelite nation, man, right? And we being the Israelite, we is the one to come out here and teach the Bible, man. Because we the Israelite, only we can break down the Scripture, man. Nobody can come and break down the scripture, man. We the Israelites can only do that, man. Right? Where are you, sir? What? Pardon? Where's coming now? Where's coming now? Oh, where am I from? Where are you coming here? I'm from in Liverpool. Liverpool? Okay. You know, from Liverpool, right? You have a slave, you have a slave port in Liverpool, right? Yeah, this, yeah. See, uh, we used to there before, and then ship, up, ship us from the slave port of Liverpool to the islands oh, no. of Jamaica all over, man. Right? Horrible. Right. So who is this brother? The devil. You have it right, man. So you see, all these assertions that come upon us, give, up, give me um, Jeremiah chapter 13, start at 16. So all who do this to us, man, right? They have to get the power, man. And all of them, man, the Lord says what? They're gonna go into captivity, man, right? Because what? At the end of the day, man, everybody does feel like all these things go unnoticed with the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Because his people been living under the bottom to and fro every day, working like nobody ever worked before, man. And where is their reward, man? They get no reward, right? So we come out here to proclaim unto them the word of the Heavenly Father says stop, change your way, think what you're doing, come back home unto the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity, man. 
right? Yeah. So you think God loves everybody, man? Yeah, it does. He does? Yeah. Well. Which scripture tell you that? What? Which scripture say that? All of it. All of it. All of it. Alright, I'm gonna read something to you and you tell me if God loves everybody, man. Um Matthew, get me um this here. Saint Mark 4 and start at 26. Is it Saint Mark? Nice. He said, this it's is a New, new Testament, Testament yeah. right? So he said, those my enemy that would not let me reign over them. Bring hither, man, and slew them before me, man. Right? So what at the end of the day, man, the Heavenly Father said, you have some people who are enemy, man. Bring them here and slew them before me. Right? So we have enemy down here. So how the most I love everybody, man? Not no gossip, man. Right? Everyone give me, give me, himself. Give me, give me um, Matthew 15, 24. <laughs> Everyone who doesn't give themselves and give who's themselves. the last sheep? Everyone who doesn't give themselves to Jesus. No, there's a last sheep. There's a people who don't know their nationality, yeah. calling themselves black. Yeah. Right? Those are the last sheep, man. Right? I, so, I, I, I don't know what I get the uh, the state it's But it's not like it's not uh, not everyone's the same. Times have changed. need a recompense for all the atrocity that they have done to his people, right? And I know you, you said it's horrible and the people are going to do it. Where them then? It's an atrocity. But you are the people. I'm not. You are the descendant from these people. Yeah, but I'm not them, am I? That's why I mean I said you are the descendant from them. Yeah. Read over the scripture, sir. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it up. Prepare slaughter. Wait, sir. Prepare slaughter. So the last of prepare slaughter, man. Carry on. For his children. For his children. Who for children? Bring it out. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of their father. Yeah. So the Lord said, to be a slaughter. What is slaughter, man? I know, yeah, but that's, you're taking a little bit of scripture and making them rise out of context. No, no. Listen, this is how you read the scripture. Precept must be upon precept. No, must not this happen to our people, man? I know, but it's was this out of context? That was, yeah. That was out of context. That was terrible. That was terrible. Yeah. But this is something that happened. It is, yeah. So this scripture is telling you that the people who do this to the children of Israel, I was not there, but I'm that spirit coming back from those people that was on the trade, slave trade, man. Well, so as a Christian, I'm so going to be punished for what my father That's what the scripture said, man. Read it again, man. Read the scripture again. Prepare slaughter. 
for his, cho for his children for the iniquity of their father. No slaughter is not killing one man, it's massive killing. Yes, right? Huge. Right, read that. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the place of the world of the world of cities. There you have it, man, that they do not rise and possess the land. Look, they're filling the face of the world with cities, man. Right now, all these places, man, who you think build them, man? Our ancestors built up these places, man, right? So how are these atrocities? Give me Revelation chapter 13, verse 9, man. Because we have to proclaim these words unto the Gentile, because you know you're a Gentile, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Because all who do this to, this to the people of God, man, they have to face the consequence. The children has to face the consequence, right? very little bit. Read that. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. This is the book of Revelation. Yeah. Chapter 13 and it starts at 9 and it reads. If a man, if any man have ears, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. what this gospel is about. Man. But I didn't lead right? anybody into captivity. You never lead nobody into captivity. Your forefather did, man. Yeah, but that's And you have to pay for the crime of your forefather, man. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous. But that's... we pay for the forefather. Right now we are going to the sin. We're still paying for the sin of our forefather. But Look, since... everybody working on us, man. Right? We have no... Who, who we have to defend us, man? Yourself. And you've got the Lord. Okay, but our people not tapping into the Lord. So we come out here, we try to pick up them. So, so listen, we have it's enemy down here. It's time for you to tap into your understanding and know say, right now, we need to go back to the Heavenly Father and truth and sincerity. But you're making right? it all about hate. What? But you're making it like it's about hate. God hate, man. Oh, you do God say. God hate, man. Not unless you ask for forgiveness. Well, if you ask for forgiveness, so you're, you're God, not you're... unwelcome. Huh? If you ask for forgiveness, give me, give me, give me um, Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. You're, you're giving me all of the little bits. You're giving me tiny I'm giving bits. Giving you everything that the scripture said, man. This is Romans right? chapter nine verse thirteen. Right. This is not my word. As it is written, yeah, it, Jacob. Is, you know Esau and Jacob. Yeah. Who is Esau? Isaiah. Isaiah. Who is Esau? Um. Oh, I can't remember. Esau is your forefather, man. And my forefather is Jacob. Yeah. Right? Read on. Yeah. As it is written. It says, as it is written, that means it's evident. Yeah. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. It is my forefather. Read on. But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. The Lord hate your forefather. I love my forefather. You know why he hate your forefather? Uh, huh? Give me the book of um, uh, Amos. Give me Amos. Chapter 1 and start at 7. Amos chapter 1 start at 7. Because precept must be upon precept, line upon line. And let me get Ezekiel chapter 35 and start at 5. Yeah, Galatians. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free. There is no male or female, one, for you are seven. all one in Christ. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that all understanding, because you don't know what you're reading. This is Amos chapter 7, one. 1 verse 7. But I will send fire on, to, on the wall of Gaza. It's lucky. Um. For every bit of scripture you can say though, I can give you one about love. For every scripture of hate, it's one of love. Not more. God love man, for who God love man? Eh? God love you know, for who him love? Him only love his people, right? Yeah. He do not love the heathen man. He only love the 12 tribe of Israel. Why you think we go on the slave boat? Why you on the slave boat with us? That's ridiculous. Because we disobey the heavenly father, so he, 
It's in the scripture, man. It's we disobey the heavenly father, so he sent us on the slave boat. Yeah, look around. So he sent you on the slave boats, not my forefathers. Yeah, read that. The Lord sent us on the slave into your forefathers' hand. Yeah, so to then it beat was us. the Lord, not me. Yes, to beat us because what? You are our enemy. Right? Read where you are. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month of. Where you Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5 and it said because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and had shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword was the force of the sword. It's the oppression, yes. Not the oppression, every day if, if the police officer come up on our people man, in not making no man, in dead man. You understand? It's for everyone. No, no, it does not go for everyone. You're in heaven, man. This is our hell, man. Right? So you need to understand what's going on. I don't you know what. I totally and understand. Wow. In, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity at, at hand. So you see, we must put a kill, put a rap, put a finish, put a do everything to the children of Israel, man, because yeah. of the haters, man. We have a perpetual hatred. Non stop, man. I right? don't hate. So, at the end of the day, you can say you don't hate as much as you want, man, but there's a perpetual hatred in your bone, man. You understand? Never. And it never get rid of, man. Never, never hit that down in my bone. Oh, let me get this, man. Zechariah, Zechariah, chapter four, 1, verse 14, and it reads, verse 15, and it reads, and I am very sore displeased. With the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they held forward the affliction. So the land was a bit displeased with our ways, man. Yeah. But the heathen forward the affliction. Oh, you forward the affliction, man. So we're gonna, gonna take away our nationality, right? Right now, our people them don't even know that they are Israelites. They're calling themselves Black British, Black Jamaican. They're calling themselves West Indian. They calling themselves uh, Nigerian. They calling themselves Ghanaian. Ghanaian. You understand? So why are these things happen to us, man? So because why can't, why can't we be one nation? Because what? You have a perpetual hatred for no, man, no, no, right? A certain, a very, very small amount there. Small amount, but they are the one that what orchestrated everything, man. Yeah, but so we can't, that's, you, you can't listen. You can't judge the whole world. Listen, man. On a small set of people. Listen. Man. Doing, we're doing the thing of the scripture because the scripture says, and we live by the scripture. Man. I don't forget every bit of scripture you've read is about hate every and punishment. That, yes, all about that. the bits of love. I'm going to read something about love, man. And it says, man, get me first John chapter, first John chapter 5, verse 3. First John chapter 5, verse 3. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Can I have the link? I want to read First John chapter 5 verse 3. No, this me I tell you about love. They said me not say nothing about love. They have to bring out something about love. What is love? I'm God said, so love the way of the okay. one and only son. Okay, we can get to that as well because we're get that out of context. We get that miscombobulated. Yeah, but you're taking lots out of context. Yeah, I'm going to show you so you're taking it out of context. Read on. Love thy neighbor. That's it. That's all. Who's your neighbor? Anybody who's by me. Anybody. Anybody who's at your side who is at Eden, that's your neighbor. Oh, you're not a neighbor with us, man. Why not? Because the scripture says so. No, you're stopping that. Give me, give me, um, give me, um, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. I did, I do what the scripture do. I don't do what man do, man. Right? So man does passing through, man. Right? Man is like grass. He come here and we die away, man, and die. Yeah. Right? I'm here praising the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity. The Heavenly Father never die, man. Right? All right, sister? Yeah. I'll praise you. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll go find it on YouTube. Can you take tell me? The Vicodos 1917. I'll go find you. What is it? What's it say for? What? Do you want to take it for me? Fine. Your brother, you know, what, you know what happened to the money, you know? All right, all right. What happened to us dealing it free? All right. Freely we give it, freely we, you understand? Right, freely we get fine. it, freely we give it. All you understand? Right, Remember reading our scripture, my brother. Because at the end of the day, this is not the Christian church, my brother. Right? Is that it with the top, you come out yeah? here for bring, read where you are, read where you are. Hold on, my brother. This is the Viticus 19 by 17. Now you yeah. say, this is your neighbor, right? Yes. Yeah. Alright, read on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So he said, Thou shalt not eat thy brother in thy heart. Who's yes. your brother? Anybody. Listen to the scripture. Thou shalt in any wise repeat thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Yeah, you have it, man. I carry on, carry on. So that I tell you, say, we cannot rebuke Israelite brothers and sisters, man. You're not an Israelite, you're a heathen, man. Right, read on. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Thou shalt not bear no grudge on the children of thy people. Yeah. What are going on right now? We set our people, people against each other. No, the people right? of God. Yo, listen, man, you're not of God, you're of the devil, man. You understand? Oh, come against. Come Give me John chapter now. 8, verse 44, too man. Far. Give me John chapter 8, verse 44. You're not a child of God, man, you're a child of the devil. Yeah, look, so why, look, who give us this, man? Read what you have, man. This is Isaiah chapter 50 here, and it says, uh, Cry out loud, spear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. So we ought to be sure our people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Uganda. Yeah, same, same. I you know you're not Ugandan, you're Israelite. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. Because they, be, they, they, they take away your nationality and start name us on, after landmass. You understand? That yes. man just left here is an Edomite. And Edom just mean red. Yes. You never see a white man from the planet, man. You no, see no, red no. people. Red. You understand? Right? I will come out here with for too long the people have been sleeping man right yes, shallow one brother shallow one shallow yeah man read right this is proverbs 23 verse 23 buy the truth and sell it not so the lord said buy the truth and sell it not so you see when we buy the truth we invest our time to read and find out what go on and we're not supposed to sell it man right yeah my brother man we're supposed to feed you with knowledge man so you can know some boy today is the lord i holy day what day is today, my brother? Today is the uh, Sabbath. The Sabbath day? Yeah. And what the Lord said we must do with the Sabbath day? Rest in it. All right. We're supposed to rest and keep it holy. Yeah. We're not supposed to buy. We're not supposed to sell all these things, man. Right? But our people do not understand these things. So we come out here to bring forth the Lord ways and to our people. So our people, yeah, so our people can change their ways and come back home to the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see, basically, get me Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Because the Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself, man. Just keep it, man. Unto himself. The Lord says we are not supposed to mix and mingle with everybody else, man. But our people been a lost sheep for far too long. They're mixing up with everybody and feel like they are the same. But we're out here to bring forth the heavenly part of earth. You ever hear this before, brother? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read on, read it. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord, thy hour, thy Lord, thy God. So it's a holy, my brother. What you know a holy mean? 